Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some very nice conditions once again this morning, seeing temperatures in the mid-70s as of 10 a.m. this morning, seeing some light winds as well. We'll see northeasterly winds this afternoon, excuse me, for this morning, and then turning more southeasterly this afternoon. And they'll be gusting around uh, 15 to 17 knots at times, so slightly breezy at times this afternoon, but overall, beautiful day across the region, high pressure in control, no chance of precipitation or lightning, and temperatures peaking out in the low 80s today. Let's take a look at our sounding from this morning, freezing level 13,600 feet, winds are light throughout the column as we have a ridge overhead, seeing those winds out of the northwest and low levels, and becoming more northerly, around 6,000 feet, then back northwesterly, and up to around 22 knots out of the west, 25,000 feet. Our current surface analysis, we have high pressure over our area, giving us these nice conditions this morning and will continue through the rest of the week as high pressure remains in control. Uh, we'll have more onshore flow for our Thursday and Friday. We do have Hurricane Francine going to make landfall into Louisiana for today. That will move up into the lower Mississippi Mississippi Valley, excuse me, as we move into uh, the next few days, and then possibly looks like it could transfer some energy off the southeast coast for early next week as the area high pressure builds over New England and uh, possibly seeing a additional area low pressure develop off the southeast coast. As far as our satellite imagery goes this morning, we see clear skies across the area, just a little bit of serious cloudiness off in the south horizon, uh, but overall, Great sky conditions this morning, and uh, we're going to continue to see good sky conditions today with VFR conditions expected. So look at the European model the next few days here. You can see Hurricane Francine making landfall uh, towards the evening hours of Wednesday into Louisiana, and then slowly moving up into uh, the Arklatex region, into Al Mississippi and Alabama, as well as into uh, Arkansas. You can see here as we move into Friday, it really dissipates quickly as we have additional area high pressure over area developing and building into our region from the northeast states. That's going to give us more and stronger northeasterly flow, looks like, for the weekend as we'll have an area low pressure developing off the southeast coast. Right now, it looks like a fairly complex scenario as some energy from Francine uh, moves off the southeast coast and over the uh, Gulf Stream as well as an area of high pressure becomes stronger over New England. Uh, that's going to allow for this area of low pressure to possibly develop uh, across that region off the southeast coast. And that's going to give us uh, some stronger onshore flow, as I mentioned, especially into Sunday. And we could see some um, showers move into the region uh, on our Monday as this area of low pressure develops off the southeast coast. Uh, right now, lots of uncertainty in where this develops, how strong it becomes and where it ends up uh, going into the southeast coast or possibly remaining out to sea and not developing. So uh, forecast for next week, uh, quite uncertain. Right now, it looks like through the weekend, we'll see good conditions, high pressure and control, and then possibly seeing some more unsettled conditions for Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday right now looks like the best chance of some rainfall on most of the uh, models as we have this aerial pressure moving inland, uh, seeing a good amount of moisture coming off the Atlantic Ocean into our region. So could be seeing some showers on our Tuesday of next week. Looking at our risk chart for today though, really nice conditions. Green chart across the board, high of 81 degrees, right about seasonable averages. Low night of 61, so just slightly below seasonable averages for our overnight low, but overall just beautiful conditions for this time of year across the region. Lots of sunshine today and also into tomorrow morning looking like we'll have mostly sunny skies. A uh, very slight chance we see some patchy fog developing overnight, and that most likely just be over the agricultural fields if we do see it. As far as our winds go today, we'll see those northeasterly winds this morning becoming more southeasterly, gusting up to 17 knots at the peak. But that sea breeze does come on shore later on this afternoon, and we'll see light winds out of the east overnight, 36 knots. Our tides are currently running normal. I'm looking at our Thursday and Friday green charts across the board once again to wrap up the work week. We'll see Thursday partly cloudy with slightly breezy onshore flow, a high of 78 degrees. Thursday night partly cloudy with a slight chance of low clouds, a low of 65. And for Friday, we'll see mostly cloudy to <coughs> partly cloudy skies, slightly breezy winds, and a very slight chance of brief shower. Uh, high right now on Friday looks like right on 78. Um, right now, the chance of precipitation looks like to be under 15%. So, keeping a green icon or green color for our uh, precipitation, but overall, 
Uh, looks like those chances of precipitation are, are quite slim at this time. We'll continue to monitor the forecast on Friday and um, see if we can get any rainfall across the region. We are becoming quite dry across the area. As far as the next seven days, a very similar temperature regime. So low 80s today, then upper 70s for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, looks like we could cool off a little bit on Tuesday with more cloud cover and a chance of rainfall in the mid 70s. Overnight lows will start to tick up a little bit uh, more towards early next week with more onshore flow as well as uh, seeing a uh, moderation to our air mass. So looks like our overnight lows will be in the upper 60s for uh, Monday and Tuesday morning. But Overall, some really nice conditions across the region I mentioned. A slight chance of a sprinkle on Friday afternoon, but overall chances, uh, as I mentioned, about 15%. And then the best chance of rainfall comes on Tuesday of next week. Well, that's complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today. Back tomorrow morning at 15, 10 a.m.